So I have a 99 F350 and the odometer quit working, which is this little worm gear they say is broken. Doesn't look broken to me, it came off. Harder than hell, my guess it's my motor. Um, but I'm gonna press my luck and put a new one in. I've already got it taken apart. Uh, I'm trying to videotape this. There's a bunch of these little screws all over the place that have to come out. Uh, what size is that? Six millimeter, it looks like. So once you take that apart, you're gonna have to bear with the. This pulls apart. You might have to, you're gonna to have to pry the glue off of the, the screen that you have here with a screwdriver, just simply pry it apart. This is sticky, so just be careful as far as getting dirt on the inside of it. Once you have it apart, it's probably a good time if you have a lot of dirt to clean up your screen. So, Genius that is Ford has this little motor and this is the new worm gear right here it just simply slides on I use a little anti-seize and if you look in there you can see the gears and they just simply turn and that adjusts your spin out or your odometer rather since I have this apart, I don't know if I'm going to get that lucky here real quickly. I'm going to try. And pull this out. Doubt that I can. <clears throat> Basically what I'm hoping to try to do here is actually set my odometer. And I'm not going to be able to. <clears throat> so we'll just take it as it is. So this little motor, there's a little plastic lip there and a plastic lip that these little pieces get stuck under. Or rather those little pieces rather. So to get it out, I had to bend those metal pieces down. And I'm hoping that I can in turn bend them back and it just simply once you get those out of the way one thing you're gonna have to be careful for is not to break those little ears off because those are what's gonna hold that motor in place and ensure that your gears actually mesh let me just try something real quick here There we go. So. Three hundred sixty. Three hundred seventy five. And if you press hard enough, they just click one at a time. And we'll just call that good so that's pretty much close to the mileage I have on the on the truck I'll let you see what we can get here perfect all right if you need a motor you're gonna have to take that little plug off in there and I think the whole thing comes out Quite honestly, if I had known it was going to be this much of a pain in the ass to remove, I would have bought the motor at the same time. So it just simply goes back into place. And... I'm 
hoping. That one's back in place. I doubt you can see it. Way down there is the other tab. I didn't have this much headaches the first time I was in the back seat with a girl. Jesus. I'm trying to figure out where everything goes. All right. Let's see if we can prop that in place a little bit more. Because obviously, And that's actually pretty tight right there. There's solder everywhere, obviously. You see that little end that's gonna plug in up here. And I'm hoping we can get it back, plugged back in. Or we're gonna have to rate this video PG-13 or R, so. And this would also be the time to change any bulbs that might be out in your dash. Or if you want to do some kind of ricer thing and change them to a different LED, that's also the same time to do it. But Alright, this is where the swearing is going to come into play sometimes you're just gonna have to drop an f-bomb to get things to go back in Looks like that was the wrong hole. That's what she said anyway. My camera holder right now is trying her damnedest not to crack up laughing and create a shitty video for you guys, so bear with us here. This is not the place or the time that you want to be shoving shit get angry take your time And there is two little ears that drop down that open up. On both sides here, you can see how that just dropped down, that opened up. And I'm making this shit up as I go, so bear with me. Think of it like foreplay, just take your time. Eventually, you'll hopefully hit a home run. A typical Air Force. Just 
taking her time. A lot of electronics, resistors. Remember when I was five years old? I didn't like girls. Wasn't into cars or trucks yet. Life was simple. Somehow the fridge was always filled up with food. No headaches, no problems. Somewhere along the way, I thought I wanted to grow up. So. And. Okay, so I'm going to correct myself. That is a 7.30 seconds, not metric. And again, you don't want to over tighten stuff. All right, so next thing. One thing on this, as you'll see, this is an early uh, 99. A lot of guys talk about the um, cruise control light. Um, and on this screen, this is a date of August 98. And there actually isn't even a um, area in here for cruise control. Uh, I have a 4x4, four 4 four low range, etc., but no cruise control, so that would explain why with the new PCM it doesn't work. But, um, that's how you take it apart. Just take those screws out. Once I had the screws apart, I just literally simply pried this loose all along here with a screwdriver. Thought I could get into it this side. Uh, the dials just simply pull off. Just make sure you put them back on and and uh, now we'll put it back in the truck and we'll see if it actually works. If it doesn't, I think I'm just going to fill the bed with dirt and plant some flowers in it because I'm not doing this shit again. I'll, uh, since it's a iPhone and Apple hasn't figured out how to pause a recording, I will put in the notes whether this actually worked or not. Um, best of luck to you poor sons of bitches that have to do this besides myself. Out.